वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सुमुक्त बिंदा मनोहर बांशा कल्पतर वश्य के पास पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुक कौतिचालंगुंगिरी जत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्णभक्ति प्रदेवी सत्वक्त नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्रश प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्तिजुक्त भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवन्नुष्टुह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजनुत शरण्य भेतात्म पुनदीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारविंद यदपल्लवनकचंदमनीय विस्फुजीत किमी बगवधूष्वदर्श पूर्णागरसुसागर सारूर्ति साराधिका मयि कदा कौश श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेता श्रीअदैतकदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदैतकदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनुका बदा तो संकीर्तनुकतरो कमलायताक्ष भीषाबरो द्विजरो युगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदो दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दधासी नित्यम भावान सदा नरा गंगा तरंगरमणीय जठा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तवाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनंगमदारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुषु वदने लक्ष्मीजश च वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीत पम निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम हरे हरे ईदम शरीरम सत संधि जर्जरम पतति अवश्यम परिणाम पेशलम किमौषधम पृछ सिमुरो दुर्मते निरामय कृष्ण रसायन पिबो ईदम शरीर सत संधि जर्जरम पतति अवश्यम परिणाम पेशलम किमौषधम पृछसी मुरो दुर्मते निरामय कृष्ण रसायन पिबो गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परम शब्द गुरु टोल्ड दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनाम देर इज नो अदर वे वी कैन गेट मंगल इन अवर लाइफ गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनाम देर इज नो अदर वे टू गेट आवर एक्चुअल मंगल इन आवर लाइफ इन भागवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न इन द लास्ट ओनली वंस in bhagwa ji mahapuran that is the final conclusion it is written already here there it is written mana pratishapya mana pratishapya evi that's also it is also written in vedant mana pratishapya mana pratishapya mani kya hai what does it mean actually mani ye hai it means that all the time that aprakre shabd bram that hari naam when we are doing भगवान डेफिनेटली विल को रनिंग टूवर्ड्स अस एंड वॉट एवर दिस साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ देयर वी विल नॉट बी स्टेइंग एट ऑल विल नॉट बी कमिंग वन पर्सन एक्चुअली पुट इन क्वेश्चन दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनम देर इज नो अदर वे फॉर मंगल प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट वेयर इट कैन बी दैट हरिनाम संकीर्तन इज युग धर्म अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज नो अदर वे टू गेट मंगल इन युग धर्म युग धर्म अपार्ट फ्रॉम युग धर्म युग वासी दो युग पीपल पीपल ऑफ दिस युग दैट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट इज रिटर्न दैट मेडिसन इज रिटर्न फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक युग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दिस युग वासी दो पीपल वर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर युग दे कैनोट गेट मंगल एट ऑल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस बिकॉज मंगल बाय भगवान is actually wanting our mangal he has already re- want our mangal by harinam sankirtan without that harinam sankirtan no other way is pathway is open for us how it can be possible to get mangal because this krishna has given on his own other pathway will be just going on that other pathway then how we can get mangal it is not at all possible just by harinam sankirtan only there is no other alternative pathway which if there is other alternative uh, is there prabhupad has spoken that is called argument that is called logic logical interpretation there is no other way some some like gopal chakravarti actually uh, getting the logic so he is getting that leprosy he has just disrespected haridas thakur in the assembly and uh, there is actually finding one another alternative apart from harinam he is speaking oh by harinam everything will be done so he just disrespected harinam so he just wants uh, other pathways that's why he got a severe leprosy on his body that is called logical interpretation that is logic which is but we actually uh, have this uh, knowledge that uh, absolute truth when you are going on that pathway then there is no pathway of logic no result will come out of logic what will come no result will come out of that logic why because in mahabharata it is written that 
Lord said, it is written in Mahabharat. This already is written that for the logic there is no there is no pratishtha. Just go on doing logic that you will just increase your logical uh, argument only. There is no pratishtha for logic. It will definitely go on increasing. Whosoever has honesty inside his heart, I have already seen that. If someone has some honesty, honest bhav is there inside his heart, he want to he want to get out of this. Anyhow, that uh, samadhan can come, but from where from logical argument he can't get any uh, or uh, samadhan. You can see by logic, you see all over the world there is so much fire. All around there is fire. In Ram Janmumi regarding that, he is actually speaking. You know, you just need to. He was he was asking about masjid and about uh, in Varanasi in Shankar Bhagwan. He is speaking that he, we, they want to construct that temple. So like this, nobody wants any kind of samadhan. By tark, by logic, there is no pratishta of that. In different different shudhis are also talking about the same thing. We just need to harmonize that. It is very difficult to harmonize these things. So logical in Mahabharata also that uh, this uh, logical interpretation. There is no other Muni Rishi in this whole material world that uh, his uh, uh, logic is just different from the other Muni. There is uh, other Pandit whose uh, logic is just different from the other Pandit. His knowledge will be will vary with other Pandit. So what to do at that point? Then at least that uh, absolute truth is so much deep that it is there in a very secret form. The Upanishad, the Upanishad, that Vani, that absolute truth is written in the Upanishad, it is written there. That like a gold, there is a pot of gold. In that there is absolute truth. They have just hidden it there in a pot of gold. That just absolute truth is just hidden there in that golden pot, like a hidden treasure, you know. Like uh, they are just uh, putting it uh, deep into the sand, that hidden treasure. Very secret, uh, uh, secret treasure that is there inside. Those who have that, those who have that uh, uh, power, he can just take that. If he, on the basis of Guru Vaishnav power, they can take that. So, logical interpretation don't have any pratishta. They will just go on uh, rapidly increasing, and there will be just blood and blood everywhere. They will be just fighting for that, and there is no other way that they have their which are uh, different from other which are. It is a must. So what to do in this case? There is only one way. Whatever our Mahajans has told, that pathway, what they have just taken, on that pathway we just need to follow that pathway, that's it, of the Mahajans. Otherwise there is no other uh, pathway, that is the perfect pathway. You just need to follow that. So Harinam, but so apart from Harinam, if there, if, there, if, there, if there is any pathway, then you don't need to follow that. That is called logical interpretation pathway. That is not at all good. So in this material world, whatever the normal people, bonded jivas, that they are always in worry and tension about the material tensions, this flow of current of material tension of this material world is all the time going on inside their mind. And they are uh, just leaving Harinam. Oh, Harinam is actually some Samadhan. No, not at all. So this kind of which I have already shown that in this material world whole all four directions this fire is going on i am giving you guarantee that if you are doing actual harinam sankirtan then everything will get solved whatever mahaprabhu the instructions of mahaprabhu if he is following in his own life then all fighting 
मूड विल गो ऑफ देर इज ओनली वन सोल्यूशन इफ यू आर डूइंग वन सोल्यूशन देन सेकेंड सोल्यूशन कम सेकेंड सोल्यूशन देन थर्ड सोल्यूशन यू बी फाइंडिंग सो देर इज एक्चुअली नो एंड टू दैट नो समाधान कैन बी डन फॉर दैट हरिनाम अबार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनाम देर इज नो अदर ऑल्टरनेटिव दैट देर इज एक्चुअली अ फ्लो ऑफ देयर थॉट इज गोइंग ऑन दैट दे आर थिंकिंग दैट अबार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनाम देर इज ऑल सम ऑल्टरनेटिव दोज हु वॉन्ट टू टेक हरिनाम दोज हु वॉन्ट टू दोज हु आर टेकिंग हरिनाम those who are taking harinam and who are taking the shelter of those harinam kari i was speaking that day also that our hari kirtan hari kirtan is one kind of fairy tale that is just like a fairy tale for us and uh, if we just going in deep into absolute truth that nobody wants to get that absolute truth that's why when we someone is actually getting the glorification of arinam then something can be done with this which are we just need to go forward and proper actually speaking that uh, just by taking a shraman kirtan of arinam that is the only path we open for us to get rid of this material maya those people who are with a very uh, materialistic thought according to their own uh, self according to their own application of their mind material mind they are actually they are actually not following the instructions of bhagwan in the shastra also it is written it is already written in the shastras but nobody actually is following this so this is the actual situation now mahaprabhu ji has told a lot of uh, which are to us lot of instructions he has given when uh, under the guidance of vaishnav in somebody has question regarding vaishnav map to mahaprabhu someone has question mahaprabhu regarding vaishnav that for 3 years only one question is put in front of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu also has given three times the answer in a different form about the same question that how we can understand who is vaishnav that when the the people of navadeep just from they just went to go all the devotees going to push hotam dam that all satyaraj khan party they have just to question mahaprabhu about this prabhu and prabhu actually questioning answering prabhu speaking that ye to bhagwat ji mahapran ka that in bhagwat ji mahapran this is a vichar bhagwat ji mahapran that mahaprabhu actually speaking in a very fine form those who are all all the time they are doing archan and all but they don't have any uh, uh, faith in devotees then they are prakrit bhakt and in madhyam bhakt what is devotees what are the actual symptoms ki bhopiksha jo karuti shobha iska lot of lot of time i'm just uh, talking about this point in the bengali hari katha that to just get prem in ishwar and to have that uh, friendship bhav in vaishnav and all those other people just to to keep on them and those who are uh, against to vaishnav just uh, have that against bhav against those people who are against vaishnav and uttam vaishnav have that uh, symptom that those in each and everything in each and every object there is having that bhagavat bhav he is having that avirbhav of bhagavat tatva inside everyone he is feeling that in every object there is krishna 
and in this whole material world each and everything he is just feeling just realizing bhagavat tattva in each and every one whatever is there in this material world and he is uh, thinking himself in this whole material world and he is feeling bhagavat tattva in each and every material object and uh, he is having that full faith that bhagavat tattva is there in each and every material object and he don't have this kind of difference of vaishnav and avaishnav that is called uttam vaishnav pashyat bhagavat atma sarvabhuteshu ya pashyat bhagavat avatmanah utani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavata bhakti no thakur has written this those people who are in this own material world having this kind of darshan that bhagavat avirbhav is there all the time inside their heart in any material object everything is worth seeing that there is bhagavat tattva and those and in those uh, uh, material objects and material things in this whole material world he is all the time having that bhagavat tattva he is already realizing that bhagavat tattva that uh, he is thinking that everything is under the shelter of that bhagavat tattva this whole material world he is taking darshan like this and he is thinking that he is thinking all the material things are vaishnav that is a uttam vaishnav when actually mahaprabhu is put this kind of question then mahaprabhu answering about this question that mahaprabhu giving a very fine uh, answer ek krishna naam sri krishna tare parosha each and every year satyaraj khan that party always used to come that only one question for 3 years that are we just want to understand who is vaishnav because harinam if we have this vichar to do harinam then it is very important to understand this point otherwise nothing will happen so on to the lotus mouth of those persons who are all the time doing harinam and uh, second year actually speaking mahaprabhu speaking in the second year on to the lot on the mouth of those who all the time krishna naam is getting uh, is speaking krishna naam that is called actual vaishnav and third time actually mahaprabhu speaking in the third year and uh, just by taking his darshan just by taking his darshan just by taking darshan of that vaishnav we are becoming pure on to uh, automatically krishna naam is coming on to our tongue just by taking the darshan of that vaishnav automatically krishna naam goes on to our tongue that is actually he is a vaishnav definitely he is a vaishnav param vaishnav that is param vaishnav topmost vaishnav is paramhansa that is called the uttam vaishnav just by taking his darshan only krishna naam coming out of it that is called the uttam vaishnav topmost of all the vaishnav he is puri kahe bhubu vaishnav lakshan vaishnav vaishnavatara ar vaishnavam abhi bhakti mein thakur actually speaking that uh, according to the upadesh of shri man mahaprabhu bhakti mein thakur actually speaking that uh, according to the upadesh of shri man mahaprabhu that how to do krishna naam those who are vaishnav pray otherwise they are vaishnav abhas they have a vaishnav abhas mahaprabhu upadesh those who have just done one time krishna naam just have one time krishna naam on their tongue he is also vaishnav but he is vaishnav pray his vaishnav abhas is there they are actually they are by naam abhas they are actually not uh, speaking shuddha naam they are just speaking naam abhas they are not doing actual naam if they one only one time mahaprabhu speaking that is the what is the upadesh of mahaprabhu bhakti no thakur speaking that those who are they are vaishnav pray they are just speaking once hari naam from their tongue they are just speaking naam abhas from their mouth and their actual naam they are not speaking 
those who are speaking only one time that shuddha nam from their mouth definitely he is a shuddha vaishnav pure vaishnav those but that person who is actually speaking one time pure hari nam from his mouth that is called pure vaishnav if he is getting this ability to speak shuddha hari nam and when this pure hari nam is all the time they are just speaking they are actually topmost vaishnav from the lotus mouth they are vaishnav taro just by uh, seeing them having their darshan our krishna is coming on our tongue that is called uttam vaishnav bhakti mo tagore has spoken this point that there is one point uh, definitely that is there that uh, in order to be a shuddha vaishnav that uh, there is no requirement of diksha etc that is the point of bhakti mo thakur and if there is no one is actually putting any attentiveness on this then he will just uh, going into opposite direction jeeva sparse aachanale shobare uddhare is a confusion this kind of confusion will come definitely in his mind that how it is possible then bhakti mo thakur speaking this vichar this point he is speaking this point that it's a very important point that just to become a shuddha vaishnav it is important to take diksha it is not an important point to be a shuddha vaishnav you require diksha that is not a important point that is not essential okay diksha is essential to take but it is not required at all hari naam can separately do kripa and vaishnav pray those who are topmost vaishnav those by archan are just doing archan of hari all the time that they can take that uh, essential mantra in, and can take diksha and just to become vaishnav pray just to become vaishnav pray archan archan means that vigraha which you are doing archan to become vaishnav pray that vigraha you just need to do archan of that vigraha whatever mantra is required that so that we can just get the adhikar in that puja that is called diksha just be uh, careful about this point what i am speaking that just to take diksha he will become a topmost vaishnav that is not a point bhakti mota was speaking those who are vaishnav pray what vaishnav pray already given the definition from bhagavad gita mahapuram that archa those who are doing vigrah seva but they don't have that much shraddha for vaishnav pujam those who are doing archan and chakra and everything and whatever mantra is taken by gurudev we there but they are not at all giving respect to pure vaishnavas and all to their vaishnav pray so here actually bhakti mo thakur speaking that to to become vaishnav prime minimum that archan to get archan uh, adhikar in vigraha in order to do that whatever mantra that you just need to take that is called diksha ye to kisi ka dikha this kind of diksha actually bhakti mo thakur speaking you best be careful about this one to so this kind of diksha what it is that is actually just glorifying that naam tatva that is in depth discussion of naam tatva aisa kisi ka dikha this kind of diksha is actually just making us pratishthit in hari naam because mahaprabhu is speaking result of that that is not the absolute result 
auf Krishna Namen. So in this, what is the actual vichar? Those who are Vaishnava Praya, if for them, those who are on the Kanisht level and those who are on the Matthim level, Mahaprabhu speaking, that just by speaking Krishna Nam, he is actually a Vaishnava Mahaprabhu speaking. Now what is the actual uh, mystery in this? The actual mystery is that whatever Kanishta devotees are there, what are the types of Krishna devotees are, be careful that there are three types of Krishna devotees, Kanishta devotees. I will just be showing you the three grades of Krishna devotee. The what is a Kanishta first grade, there is Kanishta second grade and that Krishna third grade is there. That Madhya Madhikari also has first grade, second grade and third grade. And Uttam Adhikari, Paramans Vaishnav, they have also first grade, second grade and third grade. So Mahaprabhu, why actually speaking this point that that just by speaking Krishna Nam only he is getting he is actually Vaishnav. You actually couldn't understand Mahaprabhu actually speaking that those who are Krishna devotees, Krishna type of devotees, Kanisht, those who are in the type of Kanishta devotees, they are in this category. So those who are actually Vaishnav Praya, that means they have Vaishnav Abhas. The grade of Kanishta category, they come in that Bhakti Thakur speaking, that those are in the type of Kanishta devotees, those devotees, those people who are coming in this, they are who are Vaishnav Praya. It means that they have Vaishnav Abhas. They are actually just by speaking Namabhas, actual Shuddha Nam they are not speaking. Nam, Shuddha Nam is not possible for them to do. Namabhas they are speaking. So, and Namaprad is far away. I am not actually speaking that point. Mahaprabhu, the Updesh of Mahaprabhu, just who is speaking Krishna Nam and those who are in the Kanishta devotees type category, they have three grades are there in that. Those who are actually Vaishnava Praya out of that, it means those who are having Vaishnava Bhas in this category, they are actually they are actually doing Nama Bhas. That actual Shuddha Nam is not getting out of their mouth. And these Kanishta devotees onto their uh, tongue in the first grade, second grade, third grade of Kanishta devotees. Out of that, if any person out of that category that Shuddha Nam is actually becoming uh, eligible to do the Shuddha Nam out of his mouth, those are actually Shuddha Vaishnav. Definitely they are Shuddha Vaishnav. Only one time they are speaking Shuddha Nam, then definitely they will become Shuddha, pure. And those who are doing a, a pure Nam just by once, just by doing once pure Nam is getting that then definitely is a pure Vaishnav. And those who are all the time doing Shuddha Nam, that is called Vaishnav Taro. They are just coming in the category of Madhya Madhikari. And those who are doing all the time Shuddha Harina, they are by those who are just taking his darshan, we are just doing Harinam, that is called Uttam Vaishnav. So now, what uh, this uh, pure Vaishnav, how the, there is no requirement of Diksha. What is the actual uh, proof of that? That those who are doing all the time Harinam, that is called Vaishnava Taro. And just by seeing them, just uh, uh, Harinam is getting, that is called Paramahansa Vaishnava. So there is actually one point here, Bhakti Thakur speaking, that to become a pure Vaishnava, there is no 100% guarantee that Diksha is required for that. Definitely Diksha is required for that. No, that is not a 100% uh, guarantee. To become a Shuddha Vaishnava, you don't need any kind of Diksha. Just to become Vaishnava Praya, I have already told you about Vaishnava Praya. Just to become Vaishnava Praya, this, to get uh, Archan uh, Adhikar for Vigraha, whatever mantra you are taking, that is actually Diksha. It means that whatever mantra you have just taken, so that you can just get that Adhikar in doing that Archan of that Vigraha. 
यू कैन गेट दैट अधिकार ऑफ अर्चन ऑफ दैट विग्रह दैट इज कॉल्ड दीक्षा मे बी दैट दीक्षा दैट इज आई एम जस्ट भक्ति ठाकुर स्पीकिंग जनरल व्याख्या ऑफ दिस दीक्षा दैट कंसेप्शन ऑफ दीक्षा है जस्ट स्पोकन अबाउट दैट वॉट एवर इज देयर इन द शास्त्र दैट दो दीक्षित व्यक्ति ओनली कैन गेट द अधिकार इन विग्रह सेवा बट वॉट इज द इन डेप्थ विचार ऑफ दीक्षा that when who is actually getting uh, divya gan that sambandh gan is manifested inside his heart that i am bhagwan of bhagwan and bhagwan is mine that is called actual diksha both bhakti mata ko speaking the actual point that there is panchratrik vidhan in this uh, material world that according to panchratrik vidhan who is actually taking shelter of guru guru charan he is taking diksha then definitely shalagram etc and vigrah seva he can do but that actual adhikar is getting that person that who is actually sarnagat on to lotus feet of krishna so in order to become vaishnav prai bhakti no thakur speaking in order to get vaishnav prai uh, the symptoms are actually speaking that only nama bhai they can speak nama bhas so in order to get uh, vaishnav prai just to get uh, archana adhikar in vigrah that to get diksha mantra from uh, gurudev that is called diksha so this kind of diksha that is not at all important in naam tatva because mahaprabhu speaking that on to the lotus mouth that shuddha naam is actually getting manifested on the lotus mouth that is called not not is not nama bhas that is shuddha naam shuni ekbar krishna naam pujyasi shreshto sabhaga ek krishna naam ek vari sarva pad hoy avadita pur bhakti purno naam hi to hoy in that uh, should the krishna naam nama vas is just getting out of that what do you speak what to speak about should the naam only one krishna naam only uh, all sinful activity will get destroyed in that that nine folds of bhakti is everything is there in that uh, should the naam so you don't need any kind of diksha for that and uh, this ancillary result this uh, material world bondage cutting is definitely there and those jeevas are just getting attracted towards them and it just prema is getting manifested in them bhakti no thakur speaking that where there is naam and naam abhas there is no importance of that bhakti no thakur speaking that i will just be speaking later that by nama bhas everything is done with that even mukti is also done by nama bhas everything is done so mahaprabhu speaking that with krishna everything will be done that material bondage will definitely cut but with krishna what will happen that krishna prem will you will get uh, manifest inside our heart mahaprabhu speaking this Uh, at at that day bhakti notes was speaking that from that day from that day only one krishna naam is just getting on to our tongue at that day that one krishna naam is at coming on to our mouth tongue then from that day all those sinful activities they will not be getting that ruchi to do sinful activities from that day it is a very far distant to place to have that sinful activities they are all all he they don't want any kind of uh, uh, punya also all actually they become having their heart become very peaceful and soft and they are having becoming nishpap without any sinful activities that is the actual effect of krishna naam you can see i have just started with this shloka that is a very common shloka everyone actually who is doing bhajan he knows this shloka what i am speaking this body actually is like 1000s of bit uh, like our joint thousands of joints there are thousands of joints of our joint we have thousands of joints of our bone so it is just like that 
मे बी टूडे और टुमारो डेफिनेटली इट विल फॉल डाउन मे बी डेफिनेटली टूडे और टुमारो दिस विल फॉल डाउन नो फादर हैज दिस कैपेसिटी दैट दिस विल नॉट फॉल दिस बॉडी इज लाइक दिस मेड ऑफ थाउजेंड जॉइंट्स दिस इज जस्ट लाइक एन इनोसेंट चाइल्ड he no innocent child also knows it about this point that after birth slowly steadily when our age will go on increasing when i was in the childhood now i become young and slowly i am getting uh, that uh, old age i am just getting died after that so even an innocent child also knows about this truth that he can understand this point when he just become grown up this kind of realization everyone has that all the in all every child knows about this truth so this is the actual rule of our body uh, today uh, we are child and tomorrow we will become mature and after that old age and then we will die it means that this body what is the actual parinam what is the actual uh, result of that and for that what medicine we require okay foolish actually what kind of medicine you need by that you can just get the actual samadhan you can just get the actual samadhan out of that what kind of medicine you need only one and one one medicine is there that only one ras is there in this whole material world there is no other way that krishna ras that just take krishna ras by that everything can be done that kanishth adhikari that vaishnava vaishnava bhas to madhyam that kanishtham kanishth adhikari uttam avastha man you will reach when that naam hari naam shuddha hari naam will go on to your tongue then from that shuddha naam all the time when those who are doing all the time that shuddha naam they will just come in the category of madhyam adhikari and after that just by seeing them that hari naam is getting on to our tongue that is called uttam vaishnava mahaprabhu actually he is actually speaking about this which are in front of us the first shlok of shiksha ashtakam this kind of vichar mahaprabhu told us and the second shloka in that mahaprabhu actually speaking that in the first shloka about the bonded is condition of the jiva the position that very dangerous situation and the actual importance of hari naam the glorification of hari naam what hari naam can't do then i am not starting any sambandha bhi jo prayojan up till now mahaprabhu actually speaking about general that what is actually naam sankirtan by what naam by what naam sankirtan can do and in which situation this whole material world is there and how to get out out of this situation that is a different thing so now this is the first shloka it is now second shloka there is actually glorification of hari naam in second shloka mahaprabhu speaking about glorification of hari naam and what is the actual situation of the bonded jeevas that bhagwan you are actually giving a glorified lot of naam lot of naam of the are there of bhagwan in this material world but lot of name are there bhagwan actually just keeping it ram nrsingha varaha all these names all this nitya nitya naam permanent naam is having the transcendental qualities characteristics and they are correct and, and transcendental aprakrit vishnu naam is the topmost prabhu speaking that uh, those who are each and every that vakunt uh, in the vakunt jagat there is different different kind of chambers like ram ji has avadpuri nursing dev has nurse everyone has different different chamber in vakunt jagat so they are actually always there in nitya vakunt and uh, uh, from vakunt from with the kripa patra they are actually coming to just uh, save all these bonded jeevas they are just coming in the form of naam roop naam swarup and by himself they are coming they are getting manifested by himself in the form of harinam and himself in the vigre form in front of our bonded jeevas and they have just come uh, many 
manifesting hair self themselves in this material world it is important to just uh, get this completeness so those who are with full independent mood they are just coming on to this material world in order to deliver us and etc all these kind of avatar according to their own position and situation because everyone is achyut according to their own position nursing varaha de etc all avatar are achyut there is actually some special name given to their different avatar but each and everything is done in that only everything is given in there so this shlok actually what it's written in this shlok that glorification of hari naam is just given that you have so much karuna on us that you have so much glo- uh, karuna mercy you are so much merciful that you have uh, all you have given all the power in hari naam we have just manifested all the hari naam power in hari naam all power is given in this hari naam and there are and actually no rules and regulation that how to do hari naam you there is no actually rule strict rule and regulation to do hari naam so this is the actual kripa of you bhagwan but still i am not getting my luck is so bad that i am not getting any ruchi in your hari naam in your hari naam i have no ruchi at all in gambira temple ma prabhu actually having that very surprising leela gopal guru goswami is a very small child he was child at that time and ma prabhu actually speaking him gopal guru one time what that child actually in gambira temple was there inside and he was actually having that prem bhav with ma prabhu also so he actually externally mahaprabhu just making this kind of a he is going to the bathroom and he was just uh, uh, taking his uh, uh, tongue just stopping his tongue so that that naam can stop and his name was gopal gopal speaking that mahatma prabhu doing mahaprabhu that prabhu what you are doing here pra mahaprabhu speaking actually you see actually this tongue is not uh, at all stopping he is all the time speaking hari naam my tongue my tongue is just uh, doing hari naam and i am actually going to do some sauch karma going to the bathroom so gopal actually speaking is uh, laughing actually my naam you can do all the time whether you are going in the bathroom all the time you can do hari naam there is no restriction and mahaprabhu also has told so already mahaprabhu told this point mahaprabhu hasn't uh, uh, stopped us to just in every time you just need to do hari naam in whether you are going to the bathroom as well so then gopal actually when he has just given this kind of answer to mahaprabhu mahaprabhu just started laughing and speaking that you now today from today onward his name is gopal guru he is actually guru previously his name was gopal so for that name any kind of purity and kaal and time nothing is required and the place also no nothing is required naam should go on uh, all the time in every situation you can do hari naam but this uh, for hari naam there is actually no place time and nothing is there for to do hari naam Hey, oh Bhagwan! Just by taking your naam, that is the topmost mangal mai for all the jivas. That's why that Krishna, Govind, that sector, what kind of different kind of naams are there? You have just manifested in on this material world, so that all this uh, uh, material world can get uh, out of this material bondage. In order to just get all the material uh, bonded jivas out of this material bonded, you have given all the power in this Hari naam. and just by just to remember hari naam there is no kind of any strict rules and regulations of time place and etc so so much karuna and kripa you have that you have just done for us that uh, by doing hari naam 
you have just given this kind of facility to us that you have just manifested this the naam is available to us in each and every situation and condition we can do hari naam without any strict rules and regulation but still that kind of naam aparadh is there inside us inside my life that naam aparadh is there is there inside my life but still in my life there is actually naam aparadh inside me that's why i am not able to do anything i can't understand what to do what has happened so much power is there but still inside me i can't do actual hari naam that i don't have any ruchi in hari naam so what to do i don't have any kind of uh, uh, so in this situation what to do so like this actually with a very uh, distressful mood ma prabhu was speaking this point and uh, about this point but in our shastra it is written in this uh, vishay there is a lot of fighting going on that jagdanand pandit i will be speaking about tomorrow that jagdanand pandit this vichar of jagdanand pandit so topmost vichar is this but this material world all those philosopher in this material world they are actually they are speaking lot of uh, negative uh, commentary they are writing in the jagdanand prem vivart on this it is written already they are just speaking negatively all those big big writers they are speaking ne- writing negatively now you see what's the situation they are actually just speaking negatively so much false ego they have jagdanand pandit is a turner parshad of bhagwan but they are actually against him so this kind of uh, i will definitely be putting uh, in front of you jagdanand pandit jagdanand actually also speaking this point already just speaking this point only this already ma jagdanand pandit told and naam ko sulabh rakha tha naam aapka naam is actually just get manifested in this material world you are just by your kripa you have just made it available to us like naam narsingha vara all kind of names are there and naam and nami are all actually power of bhagwan shakti but this power is actually is not coming inside my heart even that uh, the south india king also writing this what it's written there this in in this narlok especially bhagwan has just by his kripa has given the glorification different kind of name has just manifested on this nami purush on this material world but what has happened but we have just left that kind of nectar and we just want to drink that poison of this material world in this material world what that poison is available we just want to take that and we don't want to take that nectar so this is the situation bhagwan has just manifested his name and has told us the glorification of hari naam that by naam everything can be done and has given us everything but and in the shloka this uh, shloka they has given all the power of uh, uh, of naam and there is no kind of any strict rules regulation that i am 
they have lot of people have this question me also that I am actually in a very impure state. My grandfather has just died. No, no, no. You just need to do Hari Nam that time. Some Maharaj has told that for Mata Ji that at some position you just need to uh, don't do to have to do Nam. No, oh, Nam you have to do even in impure state also. That no, definitely Nam should go on. But after that, maybe that uh, mala juli and uh, jab mala, you should have to uh, wash that. Like that Tulsi Devi also, if some want to do some contamination to Tulsi plant, Tulsi Devi, if someone wants to contaminate Tulsi Devi, he, can he do that? No. <laughs> Tulsi Devi is actually Vakunta Vastu. That is Vakunta Vastu. There is no kind of contamination will be there. But still, if you have after two to three days you can just wash it with that Ganga water you can wash whether this Harinam and Dulci Devi by Shuddha Vaishnav and Mahaprasadam also it is written like that that in Purushottam Dham that Mahaprasad that glorification is so much that in order to just prove that it is written there and I have also seen it practically also that a very big person actually just came to the temple and a very low Shudra is just taking prasadam. He is just taking that prasadam from the Jagannath temple inside. I have seen that practically. That a very important person, very from this material world, he don't have this kind of uh, thing. He has just came inside the temple just taking that plate from that uh, uh, Shudra person. He is just from his uh, plate, he is just taking some prasadam and taking it. So it is written in the Shastra like this. That is glorification of Mahaprasadam, it is written there. That if Mahaprasadam, if some dog is taking, is just uh, putting his mouth in that Mahaprasadam, still that will not become impure. It is already written. That is the glorification of Mahaprasadam, already written. If the dog is just uh, putting his mouth in that Mahaprasadam, still it will not become impure. And uh, from Puradesh, whatever foreign country you are coming, that when you are getting that Mahaprasadam, immediately you just need to respect that Mahaprasadam. That is the actual Vidhan of Shastra. But in our Math Mandir, in Math Temple, whatever that Bhajana Kriya, the Bhajana Kriya is going on most of the time. And in that bhajan, some persons are there, that sadhan bhakti persons are also there who are doing sadhan bhakti. And in that Mahapurush can also stay, they are all together, they can stay. Because just to just get Hari Katha, Hari Kirtan from his lotus mouth, we can get that. This can also be done. But that pureness and impureness, if we will not be just discussing it in a proper way, then there can be possibility of fall down then can be a big problem if actually someone actually doing some uh, wrong thing in the kitchen and those who is actually offering to Bhagwan who is doing ar- doing archan and offering to Bhagwan if he has some bad character then definitely that prabhav will be there the effect will be there in that so it is very difficult and uh, the money from where that money has come and which we, from which money you are just offering to Bhagwan, everything is important in that. Every point is important. But uh, in Jagannath temple there is a guarantee. And there is actually a guarantee in Jagannath temple. And we are actually, Vyabichar is going on. There is no guarantee. If there is no Vyabichar, if there is no Vyabichar there, then there be some nice some seva prad or something maybe mo- at least some rules and regulation they are following he is following that then definitely there is no problem in that there is no problem at all in that that will be maaprasadam but each and every pro- situation kade is a characterless person he is doing kitchen and characterless person is doing archan he is doing everything. So in that definitely some problem will be there. That will not be Mahaprasadam at all. Why? Because Mahaprasadam that in the in the in Mahaprasadam in there it is written about Mahaprasadam. I have already told that Mahaprasad Harinam Tirthasthan all actually 
or which they want to just uh, show us the effect they will just uh, uh, be hiding that in bengali harikatha also i was talking that if i have anarth inside me and have abrad is there inside me then the effect of harinam will not show at all it means uh, not uh, manifest in front of and when there is some anarth is there and some material uh, buddhi is there inside our uh mahaprasadam then mahaprasadam will not show his actual effect in front of us because we don't have confidence on that the effect mahaprasadam is definitely prasadam 100% prasadam there is actually no uh, no point about that but because of aparad he is actually not showing the effect knowingly dham also just because of aparad uh dham will give us uh, will not give us the actual uh, result in mathura mahatma it is written even if one night you can stay if actually someone is staying from lot of days till nothing is happening because because by an aparad the effect of dham is actually nullified so just uh, mahaprabhu speaking in front of uh, uh, this bhav in front of nam prabhu that prabhu this naam actually you have just manifested in this material world that topmost hari naam lot of names you have manifested in this material world naamani 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 means bahu vachan which has more than one meaning that is bahu vachan of name you are actually manifesting in this material world and naam ko aap naam and there are different kind of names and whosoever have different have ruchi according to that naam he can do you have manifested krishna govind all these kind of names you have just manifested and you have just given all the power in this hari naam differently and just by uh, remembering hari naam there is no kind of strict rules and regulations for uh, time condition place everything that at 12 o'clock you don't need to do hari naam it's not like that that uh, afternoon all the time you just need to do there is no kind of uh, restriction of time now i am speaking this time is impure you can't do hari naam it's not like that those person who was doing uh, hari naam on tulsi he don't need to stop whether he is uh, mata ji pita ji who so ever is he should go on doing hari naam because in tulsi mala to get impure that tulsi mala it's not at all possible but if you have that thing then after 3 days you can wash it with some ganga water it's good and that uh, jab mala also is of cotton you just some contamination will be there so you just need to wash that but that tulsi mala nothing will happen but still if you have that desire still you can do that wash that so these uh, there is no rules and regulations strict rules and regulation regarding doing hari naam so it is so much mercy this hari naam is doing on the bonded jeevas but after they still doing so much i am actually doing naam aparad on the lotus feet of naam prabhu that's why in this material world you have just made it available in this uh, this hari naam in front of us but inside me the glorification of hari naam that anurag that ruchi is not at at all going inside my that anurag is not coming inside my heart this actually bhakti nath thakur is doing kirtan
वेरी नाइस ब्यूटीफुल कीर्तन दिस इज एंड भक्ति नोट ठाकुर हैज आल्सो रिटन अ लॉट ऑफ कीर्तन रिगार्डिंग दिस हरि नाम चिदानंद मित दाम परदत्त अक्षर आकर जी जो जने की पाकरी नाम रूपे सब अवतरी जीवे दया करि लियो बा जय कृष्ण हरि नाम lot of kirtan very beautiful kirtan is written by bhakti mata thakur bhakti mata thakur now he is speaking one by one in like in chitana chitamrit line the first shlok i have told chitu darpan madhyam here also bhakti mata thakur is so each and every word is picking up and in supporting uh, that supporting the proof from the shastra he is bhakti mata thakur is presenting in front of us That Sarva Shakti Sutra Pita. Okay, this is actually is there already, but this meaning from here that actual glorification is coming because before that it is an ordinary meaning. Nam Nam Akari Bhuda. That in this different kind of name we have just manifested. Okay, this is itself it is literal meaning is clear. But after that, uh, it starts. That what is actually it means from Satra Pritha. Bhagam Bhakti Mata Thakur actually speaking from there. The actual uh, uh, meaning in front of us, just to have uh, Sarv Shakti in Krishna Nam. That Bhakti Mata Thakur is giving from the Skanda Puran, the proof. पावर इन दैट Sinful activities. Who is removing that from the topmost demigods to the topmost sinful activities? Whoever is doing the uh, removing all sinful activities and giving us the topmost mangal. Do by those job, the pradhan, tirth, khetra, etc. You haven't understand what I told. Means that what prominent. Main main demigods are there. From out of that, from them that topmost food, topmost mangal daini pastu, which is removing all kind of sinful activities. If you are some kind of giving donation, job, everything you are doing, and not even like that, but also. In Rajshu Yagya, Ashwamed, etc. Yagya, just to do, uh, do kind that kind of yagya, and have that whatever yagya you are doing, Rajshu, Rajshu, Ashwamed, etc. Yagya you are doing. In that also, in each and every kind of gyan, uh, in each and every material object, in a hidden, hidden form, that is actually Bhagwan Hari. It means that you are getting confusion in this. Dharma Mula Hi Vishnu. That whatever, uh, what I want to speak that that all kind of demigods, topmost demigods, out of them, that they are actually speaking about that topmost uh, Hari Nam, who is actually. By their jab, tap, dhyan, etc., donation, whatever, and all kind of yagya are doing, which is 
removing all kind of sinful activities and they are going to kumbhakonam somebody is going to different different teeth and they are doing uh, uh, rajsuya ashwamed etc yagya they are actually who are going actually in a very hidden form just going uh, to that adhyatmik gyan that bhagwan shri hari is there those who have that demigods that kind of glorification is that is by what this just by bhagwan only so everything has come from bhagwan only it is written there like prithu maharaj son that prithu maharaj son he just want to cut indra maharaj because yagya actually is was not completed now after 99 yagya he just want to do the 100 yagya and he has just spoiled the yagya indra dev so after that when he just want to kill indra then bhagwan actually lot of examples are there regarding this so here what happened when janme jaye he has just you done sarp yagya snake yagya he has just killed all the snakes in that even he speaking that the takshak snake is takshak is uh, takshak is in support of indra uh, so indra and takshan definitely both will come in this fire and they will be killed so in that bhagwan actually just speaking okay actually this is not good actually is actually prakash of bhagwan in order to kill him you don't have the right to kill so prithu also he is speaking to that that you don't have the right to kill okay he has done some wrong actually but but it is not to be killed by you it is not your right to kill indra so in this this kind of vichar it is written that different kind of bhagwan yagya donation is there jap is there that uh, hidden power is there whatever donation you are doing in the name of bhagwan you should do and it will be useful then all kind of power differently there is actually subjugated and categorized bhagwan has just divided this power into differently in the hari naam the top most power is there in hari naam whatever that whatever power is there in this uh, different things ma bhagwan has given this in the arinam different whatever different kind of power is there in different things all this power has just uh, bhagwan has set up in his arinam in toto whatever power is there in this uh, differently everything is actually is given in hari naam everything ma bhagwan has given it in hari naam it is already written from skand puran we can see now this lo need this word niyam for that socha char there is no rules and regulation for going to the purity and all if actually going to uh, that bathroom and is just going on to the bed of that that he will be just doing uh, hari naam just by taking uh, bath no whatever situation you are in you just need to do hari naam and actually once speaking you do, oh grandmother you do hari naam oh but i can't do this much i can't speak he speaking all material talkings but when actually speaking that you do hari naam grandmother he speaking oh no but i can't speak this much for this actually it is written lot of proofs are there i will be just speaking today there is so much uh, topmost vishay is there regarding this here it is written that sector is written there yeah 
like all those sub pure vaishnav inside sadhu there is no actually dosh inside him sadhu is free from that the pure vaishnavs are already free from all the doshas sat sat sadhu vachaka tesham acharan jastu sadacharo sadachar kya hai what is sadachar sadachar those of pure sadhus who are actual sadhus inside them there is no kind of dosh sadava shino dushashu sat sat sadhu vachaka those who are already in the sat bhumi ka in their uh, their uh, whatever acharan they are doing that is so pure that is called sadachar whatever acharan they are doing sadachar doesn't mean that they are taking 5 to 10 times bath whatever acharan like hari naam hari katha what they are doing they are all the time uh, uh, getting in deep of hari naam and hari katha and without sadachar it means that be, without becoming pure that without sadachar if any kind of uh, uh, things you are doing whatever uh, karm you are doing but still without sadachar you will not uh, get uh, purity in that if you don't have sadachar then you will not get result in that it is written there that sadachar that is without purity no result you will get at all without purity you will not get a result in that without purity that whatever uh, reason for what reason you are doing that particular karma without purity you will not get the result you go understand this point any how in any condition you will not get the result without purity because any condition and any reason without sadachar without purity no siddhi is possible that's why avashyam sarvatu sadacharo hi apeksha sadachari apeksha mein rehta that sadachar is always there in confusion all always without confusion but those pure guru vishnu they are all the time having this sadachar this shuddh bhakti madhavendra puri was speaking that i don't have time to take bath prabhu i don't have time uh, time to take bath and i don't have uh, time to do sandhya vandana as well so uh, madhavendra puri one will become impure sandha vandanam namastu bhyam gosnam tu bhyam namah kaisa koi bhakti to lekin ye zaruri hai but it is important it is already written in gita also that in what part we just what it is very important that is but for harinam it is not important in gita also it is written that you have giving donation and you are thinking that you have done a very big thing you have just given that donation to that in that tamasic pot you have just given that uh, donation to some person who is a demon those who are cutting the cow cow and they are giving him the donation to cow i will not be speaking in the name those who are cutting cows and you are just giving a cow to that donation you are foolish where you have given the donation you definitely will get the negative result out of that so everything is done like that no kinchit kasachit siddhed sadacharam vina yataha tasmat avashyam sarvatu sadacharihi apikshati शास्त्र so there are lot of uh, bhakti mata guru has given this proof and i have also taken from different different places have given the proof vaishnav samhita also it is written no saucha saucha saucho saucha saucho nirnayah param sankirtanat eva ram ramiti muchati 
There are a lot of questions coming. Like Keshav Goswami Maharaj always used to answer, and Prabhupada also used to answer the questions of that. So if some Vaishnav in his family, someone has died, and maybe uh, if they are doing Nam, if they have taken the Ashri of Nam, maybe it can be done. So they are actually questioning that uh, Maharaj, what to do? We ch- we should stop Archan. And when there is a solar or lunar eclipse, then at that time we just need to do stop archan and all. Then Prabhupada speaking, no, no, not at all. Those pure Vaishnav, this kind of achar is not there. Those who are uh, not pure Vaishnav, they can have this kind of achar. For pure Vaishnav, this is not the vichar. Prabhupada speaking that at the time of solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. In the Devangarand the Gaudiyamat Patrika also, every time they used to do. In the other articles also about, uh, in Patramrit also it is written. That Prabhupada speaking, that uh, whatever normal seva should be going on in this, because this lunar and solar eclipse, whatever there is, this is, they will not uh, impure, they will not, uh, they will not make uh, impure this Vakunta Vastu. Just to take bath after this eclipse, it is not at all uh, essential. By Harinam actually you are getting everything purified. Because Vishuddha Vaishnava is not, uh, uh, is doing Harinam all the time. So, if what uh, this material Vastu will be making him imp- impure? No, not at all. Actually, just to do this uh, demon shraddha, you just have went to the... Uh, house because you have this kind of confidence in that you don't have confidence that uh, just to offer uh, uh, Navedya to Bhagwan you will just uh, uh, you don't have this kind of confidence so definitely you have that uh, 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 confidence in demon Shraddha so what to do uh, also like when it is there at the time of eclipse also when I was there uh, in my previous uh, ashram there is actually, uh, this is actually g- a grand water, you just don't need to take that. My mother used to speak. But this kind of vichar, Prabhupada actually not speaking this. So what to do with that, in that? So those who are doing Harinam and all the time they are doing Harikatha and they are actually just busy in that. So they have the full confidence in Mahaprasada and everything. That is 100% Mahaprasada, they have confidence in that. So... They have that confidence. That's why Vaman Goswami Maharaj used to speak that without salt, uh, he is actually taking that prasadam. And Sevak speaking, oh, I have not put any salt in prasadam. So actually I am taking prasadam. When I am not taking any dal kachodi or salt. I am just taking prasadam. So this kind of confidence should be there. So in, the, so in Samhita, there are a lot of Samhita. And there are Upanishads also, 108 Upanishads are there. So you can now have this kind of understanding, lot of Samhita are there. For what point you will go, lot of Samhita are there. Lot of Samhita are there. Which point you will go? It means that in Nam Bhajan, that there is no uh, rules and regulations regarding uh, time, place and condition. Not like that, but also about the Sochachar, about purity and impurity, which are this kind of which are also not there. Gurudev actually, when after just, uh, Gurudev after just uh, getting his... Uh, some in the mud actually uh, speaking in the mud that actually after just uh, removing your hair you just need to take bath no no I will not take bath Gurudev actually uh, Gurudev just by cutting the hair of Gurudev I am becoming uh, pure and I will just be touching the Shaligram let me see what kind of sinful uh, and activities can touch me nothing will happen why because I have I, because Gurudev is topmost uh, pure and those, this kind of Swachachar, Ishwar Puripad also all the time is doing uh, Bhajan, Hari Bhajan and uh, he is all the time 
taking the aprakrit stool and urine of his guru dev madhvendra puri pad so whether ishwar ishwar puri pad if he'll be there but if some material person you are just uh, just touching that uh, material stool and urine of a material person then he is actually impure you just need to take bath after that so those param vaishna if you are just touching that so definitely he is not becoming impure in reverse bhagwan actually just came here to just uh, touch that aprakrit stool and urine of madhvendra guru because you are not actually Uh, remembering this i uh, siddhant when actually that b- bad blood is coming out of the body of sanatan goswami pad there is actually some skin disease very bad skin disease in his whole body and uh, actually mahaprabhu is just uh, coming to take uh, actually just touching sanatan goswami pad and mahaprabhu speaking oh prabhu don't touch me actually and Ma- prabhu actually was uh, just uh, with full uh, uh, giving him alingan to sanatan goswami pad and whatever blood is there on the body of sanatan goswami pad that bad blood is just touching the body of mahaprabhu and sanatan goswami pad feeling very bad what you are doing you are definitely put me in a prath you are touching my body which is full of bad blood mahaprabhu actually speaking that you see actually i am just making myself pure in order to just touch you that what uh, kind of question is there in order to just purify myself i have just uh, touched you that like uh, uh, that pure characteristics are not there inside so that's why i'm just touching you so these kind of devotees if are there these devotees this kind of devotees pure devotees after taking samadhi and if some uh, some sickness is there some like having uh, stool and urine on his body uh, in this uh, by taking uh, touching him i have to take bath it is is it uh, good no not at all just to think like this is also aparad this is aparad just to think like that so bhakti will definitely dis- get destroyed so in naam bhajan this kind of shukracharya also is speaking about this point you have already you can understand that if any defect is there if there is any defect uh, possibility is there in uh, yagya and everything then everything will get complete when you are doing naam sankirtan you are taking shelter of hari naam how it is just by doing naam sankirtan everything will get purified whatever it is written there by naam sankirtan everything get rectified so it is becoming complete there is no purity impurity there naam sankirtan is making it everything so this is a uh, top most thing that by ram 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 just by speaking that and krishna 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 by krishna sankirtan all those bonded jeevas just getting uh, out of this material bondage and mahaprabhu after that uh, becoming very unhappy on this point so this kind of uh, karuna uh, the merciful this kind of mercy you are just uh, giving in all the four directions you have spread it in all the four direction but still my luck is very bad still after that also i am after this what you have done i am not getting any result i am not at all getting any result so what to do in that my luck is very bad my luck is very very bad what to do that prem payush ras sagar that in all the four direction there is a prem ras ras of prem but still but i am not even touching that how it is possible see my luck is so bad in bhagwa ji mahapur bhakti mein thakur is just giving in front of us that proof proof is proof means that you already proved they have already shown it from shrimad bhagwa ji mahapur bhagwata prasangyat सर्वाशु उपशमनाद विमुखेन्द्रिया जी गुरुवंतिका सुख 
just removing all kind of a mangal you are actually a treasure of mangal infinity bandar of treasure of mangal and those persons and those persons who are just uh, taking their topmost uh, harinam by the shravan kirtan of your harinam is just uh, uh, doing all kind of uh, material karma and they are just getting into that who is just giving all distressfulness in their life and they are just doing that they are definitely by the dev they are actually under the uh, under the distress of devya and their luck is very bad those who are actually that topmost who is just uh, giving us topmost nectar of shravan kirtan of hari naam they are actually just getting rid of that and they are just getting into this uh, Uh, calm lob material lust and desires they are in order to get that they are just doing all kind of uh, material activities and uh, enjoying material uh, karma they are doing inside their heart all kind of amangal activities are uh, they are doing all the time they are busy in that just by just by uh, maya they are all the time just busy in material activities and material karma their luck is very bad karmasya parinama parinamitva avirichap avangala koi bhi kar whatever karma they are doing oh i have done yak oh yak yes so that is also material karma you have are not doing to satisfy bhagwan whatever you are doing you are doing for yourself just for yourself you are doing not for the satisfaction of bhagwan you are doing avirichap from brahma till uh, to the insect there is all amangal if you are not doing hari naam these people are actually in maya in chaitanya ji tamrit also it is written about uh, all uh, proofs are given there that in bhajan rahasya also mahaprabhu has uh, talking about and bhakti mudagur also talking there are different kind of persons there different kind of material lust and desires having different persons having that and they have different kind of desires and they just want to just just by your kripa only bhagwan actually just giving this kind of different different names he is manifesting and has preached that name in different corners and those who are having confidence in this naam jo mahaprabhu actually speaking this point no so this kind of that you don't have any kind of rules regarding your country place time even uh, that purity also you don't need to think if you are doing hari naam okay you are just uh, doing it externally that is a different thing but uh, my luck is so bad prabhu that i have no ruchi that anurag is not there in hari naam in your hari naam what to do now my uh, luck is very bad hey bhagwan you just do a hai to be kripa on me so that uh, different kind of names are there you have just manifested in different different uh, words and there is no difference between naam and the name himself and uh, you are in this name you have just uh, Uh, manifested all the power in this hari naam and just by there is no actually strict rules and regulation that when to do hari naam all the in hospital everywhere you can do hari naam there is no kind of uh, uh, good and bad in this to think of but my luck is so bad very very my luck is so bad so bad that this kind of top most glorified hari naam I am not getting anurag in this harina. Now, 
सो इन नाम नॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नाम आर देयर बट भक्ति में ठाकुर एक्चुअली हैज जस्ट स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट देयर आर टू काइंड ऑफ नाम मुख्य नाम मुख्य नाम एंड गौण नाम देयर आर एक्चुअली मुख्य नाम ऑफ भगवान एंड गौण नाम ऑफ भगवान दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माधुर्य वगैरह कृष्ण राधा रमन गोपी जन वल्लभ एंड ऐश्वर्य विग्र वासुदेव नरसिंह राम नरसिंह वराह दिस ऑल मधुर्यमय दिस विग्रह कृष्ण राधा रमन गोपी जन वल्लभ मधुसूद मधु मदन मोहन बट दिस ऐश्वर्य विग्रह वॉट इज दैट ऐश्वर्य विग्रह नेम इज कॉल्ड वासुदेव संकर्षण राम नरसिंह All these are Ashwarya Vigra. They are all Mukhya Nam. But still, but having that Mukhya Nam, we can be just as we showing the glorification of Hari Nam. This which I will definitely show you afterwards. That just by doing three times Krishna Nam, that it is equal to one Krishna. You are doing three times one thousand names of Vishnu. That is the fruit you will get result of one Ram Nam. So I will be just telling you afterwards the actual Mukhya Nam and Gaur Nam, uh, Gaur Nam of Bhagwan is there. So those Mukhya Nam, there have two categories in that. One is Madhurya Vikra. That is a different uh, name will be there. And Ashwarya, that Vasudev, Narsingha, Varaha, Ram, they are actually Mukhya Nam. But in come in the category of Ashwarya, and uh, after that, that Parabrahm Paramatma, Gajendra Ji is actually speaking. Uh, Gajendra Maharaj is speaking, uh, not speaking the name of Bhagwan. He is taking God name of Bhagwan. So by this, by he is speaking this name, Gajendra Maharaj. So Bhagwan ka. So Bhagwan. Brahm Brahm Paramatma. Brahm Paramatma. All are God name. That uh, Parat Parakileshwar, Par Brahm. All these names are God name. Bhagwan name. And uh, who are actually just speaking the name of Bhagwan? They are not different. The jivas are ishovaymukha. That they are all the time uh, separate from Bhagwan. That they are just coming in this destructible Maya, and they are different kind of anarth and different kind of distresses are there in this material Maya. That's why we are not finding it very good to speak Hari Nam. and it's all kind of anya vilash karma material karma materialistic desire enjoying mood everything is actually just making them uh, discrete from the actual pathway and they are just uh, making them distorted from their actual pathway i'm just all the time they are just moving in this cycle of birth and death all the time they are just uh, moving around that cycle of birth and death that is the thing and uh, anya vilashita whatever the prabhav an effect of anya vilash is so much that those who are anya vilashi there are different kind of conditions i have already spoke, speak, spoken this point that oh he parat paratrik different even after uh, death also my name should be there in this whole material world this kind of uh, situation also arises that after death also my name should be there so this actually person actually doing that pratishtha is there when he is living that pratishtha is there and after that uh, pratishtha is also there i have already talked about this point previously as well so anya vilash he is actually getting aitrik and paratrik uh, happiness he is just getting in that he should get that heavenly planets and again he should go and come go and come like this he just want to uh, just make bhog and tyag he is just getting enjoying he is actually just getting the shelter of nirved brahm no uh, question of seva is there 
he just want that uh, i want uh, don't know need enjoying mood and i don't need uh, tyag mood as well he is getting that uh, getting into the impersonal feature of bhagwan what result he will get in that what result you will get you will get some result no no result you will get but still he is actually just uh, getting for that only and in krishna seva in krishna seva that is the actual nitya dharma of bhagwa of all the jivas who will actually understand that nobody wants to understand this point they don't want to hear this i definitely be speaking it tomorrow about this vichar that what is the actual serious dangerous condition of the jivas and how they are actually going in the cycle of birth and death na hari naam is they are still they are not taking the support of hari naam and if he is taking it also but just by taking support of hari naam he is just doing naam aparad all kind of sinful activities doing so this which are definitely i will be speaking it tomorrow today i will be just giving the rest today up till this point because time is very limited because time is not there i need to give rest so you see actually this kind of thing is there idam shariram sat sandhi yarjaram patati avashyam parinam peshalam kimau shadam pricha simuro durmate niramayam krishna rasayanam pibo aschajya me tad hi manushya loke sudham parityaj visham pibanti namani narayana gocharani त्यान्नवाच हा को का पठंती वाचकल्पदुर से पास पथिता पापन भो कृष्णभ्यो नमो